All right, everybody, what is going on? My name is Brennan Sobolski, and we are back for another episode of the Average Joe's Fishing Show. It's spring, May, early May, and we are chasing brook trout. So stay tuned. We're going to hammer some big ones today. Gorgeous weather, nice sunny morning, and we're almost to our destination. So stay tuned. We're going to get some big ones, and uh, you're going to see that right now. So here we go. Well, lads and ladies, we made her. Lyle and I are deep, deep, deep. And I mean like Ron Jeremy deep in Algonquin Park. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're after some of the, the uh, mysterious, the uh, elusive, the uh, red spot blue haloed brook trout. And uh, yeah, we're in this little no-name back lake here in the park. We had to bushwhack in with the canoe and minimal gear. Yeah, just day tripped in from our site. Pretty hard going, if you can see, it's probably after 10 now by the time we got in here. Hard going in here, yeah, but uh, we, uh, we are not sure if there is trout in here or not. We've never been here, first time. But this is how you figure it out. For all you people out there that are keyboard wizards and that keep an keep asking us, where is this lake? What lake is this? What is the name of this lake? This is how you figure out where there's trout. Don't rely on others. Find it yourself. Go out and explore. It's way more fun that way too. When you get out and you actually find a spot and you're like, frig yeah, I found trout in a lake that didn't know has trout. It just feels so much more better. So much more rewarding. We haven't got any 20 plusers yet. No, nope. but today's been the best day of all. So yeah. the rest of this week looks really good, really fishy. So hopefully the bite turns on. Every trout that we have caught so far has had empty stomachs well the two that we cleaned yeah like the, or the two that we cleaned yeah so uh, to me that means they haven't fed they haven't fed in quite a few days and they're gonna be hungry hungry so today like for sure they're gonna turn on me oh I lost him I lost him. There is trout in here. I lost him. There's trout in here. Shit. Right off the shallows. Right off the corner. That was a big one. Oh, we lost one. There's fish in here, guys. Oh, I'm excited. It's a good one. Yep. Yep. Get the net. Like it's a really good one. He's coming in. Oh, he's kind of. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, it's a beauty. Not a giant, but it's a nice one. He's quite a monkey. This way, this way. Yeah. Great. Oh yeah! It's been a while. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a two pounder, two and a half. That's a beauty. Oh, that's a beauty. He's so freaking lively too. Just leave him in the net and get him on hook. I know. You want pliers or? Oh, yeah, maybe if you got him, I'll just. It's not. It's not a good spot. Nice deep, deep net here. Yep, he was hooked real good. My leader's all frayed now, so I'll have to re leader, but there's a lot of sticks here. Oh, yeah, he's good to go right here. That's a beauty. Thick, eh? One of my nicest fish I think I've caught, yep. Real thick, not too long. I would guess he's. Yeah. 
Gucci. What a beauty. All right, we're gonna get him on the release right away. head i literally just switched up casted this out and like two seconds after casting it hooked into this lad feels like a decent trout it jumped eh feels decent yeah that's fighting pretty good gotta play them take your time let them fight enjoy the fight because when you work this hard to get in here you gotta enjoy it you know like you stay in low there he is yeah oh that's a that's a beauty nice one that's a three pounder big pushing three man pushing three that's a beauty nice Nice one. It's alright. Alright. Oh, big nail. Yeah. Nice one. Oh, barely hooked up too. Just right in the nose, yeah. Don't lose the net. Don't lose the net. Alright, we're gonna get a quick release on this guy. I'm gonna get a couple pictures with Uncle Lyle here. And then, uh, we're gonna get him back. That is all of three pounds. Nice big natural male. Gorgeous colors on them. Look at that, guys. That is wicked. Big kipe on them. Always keep their head pointed towards the water. He's 20. He's 20. Yeah, he's a 20. There you go. There's a 20 inch native Algonquin brook trout. Awesome. Look at that. You wanna. Let him go here, right? just like this, quick. Yeah. If it smells like trout, don't get out. If it tastes like chicken, just keep on licking. Man, as if you just cast it on the top of the four pounder's head. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a three for sure all day. Literally, like I must have dropped it right on his head. One. I've casted it. I did one pull, closed my bail, and oh, there's one. <laughs> Nice bud. For anybody curious what I caught him on, literally first first fish I've caught on this lure, I got a little Cleo, uh, quarter ounce, perch pattern. Dropped it on his head and he smucked it. Oh, I was just taking some pass here, we were readjusting, and I got a nice little guy. Hit right at the boat. Bring him over here. That's okay, I'll just show him off. Real quick, wet your hands. Beauty little guy. Ooh, burp, eh? <laughs> Just like that. Beauty little guy. All right, get him right back. Little guy. funny we're in this uh, shallow little kind of sandy rocky bay here on the lake and uh, the trout right now like we were saying it's been it's been cold the last week and wet raining a lot and the trout are uh, they're up feeding now today's the first nice day where we've had any sort of significant sun and warmth and it seems like they're up in these mud flats feeding feeding flats Nice little guy on here. Look at that. There we 
go. Beauty. Holy shit, this is a hard friggin' hike, Kayla. Oh, yeah. Oh look! Someone left a GoPro here. Uh, well, guys, that was another good adventure. We did a little bushwhack into this little back lake here, a little unnamed back lake. Wanted to give her a whirl and see if we could hammer some speckles, and it turned out to pay off amazingly. I caught, which what might be my PB, right around the range, probably a PB yeah. rookie at. Uh, about 20 and a half inches. And uh, Lyle got a nice, what, 18 incher? Yeah, 18, 18 and a half. We ended maybe. up getting yeah. five speckles, so that was all right for a few hours that we fished it. And, uh, you know, it was worth the trek. Sometimes you gotta journey in to, oh, yeah. to make sure that you can get the big ones. I bushwhacked our way in here and it took us quite a few hours to get in. It's well worth it though when you get in here. And I mean, we didn't, uh, you know, completely hammer them, put the smack down on them, but we caught a lot of nice ones. And size. Size is what matters, yeah. Big ones. A couple big ones. We're just leaving the lake now, as you can see, and uh, yeah, just getting out of here. We're gonna head back to base camp now. Good little adventure, worth the exploration. So if you guys wanna catch big brookies in the park, you gotta explore, you gotta do some research and test it out and see if you can get them. We're glad you guys were here to witness that. Hope you enjoyed this video another average Joe's adventure so we got a long journey ahead of us to get out of here and get back to base camp um, we appreciate everybody watching until next time my name is Brendan I'm Lyle and we, we are, are the, the average, average Joe's. Joe's don't forget to subscribe guys